All right, welcome back to Rockstar Reactions. It's your host, Rockstar2800, the most hated, the most opinionated, the most underrated. You know the truth. Like, comment, subscribe right now to this channel. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Become a member, a smut free member right now. You understand me? Turn on your notifications. Hit that bell. Hit that bell, y'all. Follow Smut Free TV on Instagram. Hop in them comments. Why? Because every comment counts. And you know we got the hottest content in these internet streets. No cap. Let's get into this. Ruger. Ruger standing on business with Adam 22. Pulls up with his homies. You know what I'm saying? Pump face like everything's okay. And then socks it to him. Now, can Adam stand the heat in the kitchen? I don't know, man. We got to find out. See what's really going on with this. Because, it, it, man. From what I've seen in the small clip on Instagram, it wasn't enough context. So I'm going to play it back to when the conversation really started to where he addressed Adam so y'all can get a full understanding on why he did what he did and why he went as far as he went. So here we go. Oh, no, man. Oh, I don't know. Let me know something, man. Like, what we learned? I feel like you're disappointed because now I'm a rapper having motion, <laughs> and I'm not even writing songs about you. I feel like you were probably pissed when the freestyle came out, and I didn't have. Wow, is he really saying that? This is crazy. I didn't know it started off like that. Many bars for you. Skip right over. You went before straight the, to J Main. Before the freestyle. Oh, I don't even remember anything before that. Although I was just thinking we did that whole interview with Flame in which he like, remember he's telling he the funny ass story about him stealing his shit while he went to the store or something? It has nothing to do with Flame. Flame oh, okay. ain't stealing nothing. No, he said Ruga stole from him, right? Mm -hmm. Huh? Listen, I'm going to tell you some real shit though, Adam. Okay. My thing is with you, man. Mm. Okay, Adam, before we get into that, my thing is with you, you already know what that means. I'm hey, I'm about to get it off my chest. Like even where where well, we went bad at the moment I did my interview with you, we um I talked to you before the cameras was even rolling. Mm -hmm. I said I ain't even want to talk about that billionaire shit. You feel me? Just off the strength of that's Doug Homie. They always we always in cahoots with each other. Mm -hmm. And I just ain't got time to be, you know what I'm saying, bashing the next motherfucker on the internet or whatever. Then the first thing you started the interview off with was, all right, you said you didn't want to talk about the billionaire shit. And I literally just told you this. So it's like, why well, speak about it on camera? I felt you want, didn't up. want to talk about Dirk specifically. But listen, this was the thing, though. It's like, even after the interview, I talked to you. I'm like, I don't know. I just want to see the interview before I come out. You know what I'm saying? To see it. You know what I'm saying? Just because I ain't got time to be stirring all goofy shit up. I ain't got time for that. So... Ruger's argument for being mad at Adam the first time, basically Adam put out the interview without letting him see it. So you see Ruger is saying, you know, you were supposed to let me see it before it came out. So that's the original reason why these individuals bumped heads. But you literally, any other time I DM you, you hit me back. But this particular time when I'm DMing you, telling you, like, send me the video, the clip, you're not hitting me back. Now you drop it. And you knew I talked to you and you agreed upon this. As a man, when you tell somebody I'm going to do this, you got to stand on it. Where I'm from. So, and you ain't stand on your word. Yeah, I should have been more direct and Hold just up. told you I was going to put it out. Let me, realistically. let me keep going. I ain't even done. Oh. It's like. <laughs> he said, I should have been more direct. Hey, Ruka said, you didn't stand on your word. You you said you should have been more direct. So you saying that you that you basically ran around it, you know, gave him the run around. Okay. And then another thing, you won't have plan with folks' mama, like thug mama, bro. Mm -hmm. like, I don't give a fuck how much you plan. Don't play with folks, OG. I think that was a mutual thing. Her and I had this I'm little flirtatious to, joke thing going on. Don't I mean, have you seen mama. the interview? She's around with me like that Listen, calling me handsome and all this shit too. it's thing, not just like like you remember that day we could not believe the way she was flirting look, with me at the end of the yeah, day no. another <laughs> thing you play with wooski bro like just let me out we, we, we talk i don't care if y'all talk that ain't that i got a personal problem with it 
So he tripping on, you know, uh, uh, Doug Mama, him trolling Doug Mama, going back and forth with Doug Mama. He's saying he, he don't agree with that. Like, don't do that. And I kind of agree. Like, you know, like I said, like, when it come to us, we discipline us. We're going to worry about us. That don't give you a right to get out of line and get to acting like you, you, you know what I'm saying? Because you're not. So I kind of I kind of agree with Ruger on the Mama Duck situation. Because it's the principle of you playing with him about. And now he's talking about Wooski. Him getting shot in the head. That shit ain't no joke. You, do you know that was at my best friend's funeral? Yeah. Do you know that that my best friend mama couldn't even bury her son the right way? Mm. Like, the funeral was completely over after that. My right. father's running everywhere. My mama was there. My son was there. He wasn't even yeah. six months. For sure, Wooski should have thought about that you, before he started I'm talking shit to me. Because <laughs> when you start doing battle in hip hop, no. you're gonna use Wooski whatever you got about you. To talk. What do you mean when you use battle in hip hop? This is not hip hop. This is the streets. You got it confused. This, this has nothing to do with hip hop, Adam. Talk shit. He you did. He started shit with me, so I mentioned Bro, something like that. You went on an interview with Cairo and brought up Wooski. Right in a very Play light him, way, like, like barely the the idea that that was that recited, deserved the reaction that you, he then gave me is fucking insane. Just you basically recited lyrics that you knew was really serious, bro. That like behind the situation. I think you're Listen, you're, you're, you're taking Hold different up. situations and combining them together though, because that was all about Sean Cotton saying but that he didn't think saying. Cairo had Wooski vibes. Listen, when you do Ooh. that, you place yourself in street shit. Right, it get real after that. Okay. Like for real, gang. Like, like on some real shit. Like, if I would have came in here right now with some, with four pairs of boxing gloves and set the business on the table right now, like, come fight me right now. Let's go fight. Would you? No, that's just goofy. Exactly. As fuck. That's what I'm telling you. I would have looked at you like you this were doing some I'm stupid ass you, clout shit if you did something like that. When, for sure, it wouldn't be no clout shit because you ain't gonna post it anyway. But this, it's not clout. It's a fair. I think he's giving you a, a fair option. Like, look, here on some boxing gloves. I got a problem with you. Let's get down. Like, that's it. This is what I'm telling you. At the end of the day, if I ask you that type of shit, you ain't really willing to even just fight. Don't stop egging it on, gang. Like, if you ain't literally just willing to fight. Why do you think that? About, why do I need up. to be on board with even, fighting? Listen, like, listen. I've never said I was a boxer. I'm not even, why do I need to be a boxer listen, all of When a you sudden? got on that internet and you said, Ruga, a bitch, acting like a bitch. Them fighting words to me. We don't play about that shit. Now, I could come in here and really get on bullshit. You see what I'm saying? We don't play about certain shit. And you got to understand when you step in that field, you got to accept. Hey, Adam did call him the B word, though. I do remember that. He did call him that. Everything that come with it. Ain't no, I just want to turn this button off now. Now I want to turn this button off. Um, I don't want to do this, but no. Nah. You forgetting the other shit that come with it. Do I seem like I'm worried about that? At the end of the day, guys. Do I seem like I'm worried about any of the shit? Listen, like, there's a lot of I threats. Said, there's a lot of ideas. Me. I'm just, chilling. Adam, he said he chilling. You see, do, do it look like I'm worried about that? You just sat here and said, if I ask you with the boxing glove to fight, you said you would not do it. Right, because so I'm not a boxer. It. You know why? Because you worried about getting knocked the f out. No, because I just don't want to take part you in goofy about ass clout shenanigans. Out. It wouldn't be no clout shit. You know why? Yes, it you is. Wouldn't have no cameras rolling, Challenging you a non-boxer to a boxing match when I've never said or done Bro, anything that suggested no that I wanted to be a boxer. Either. What the f so different about me and you? You older than me. Okay. What the f is so different? I'm gonna pull up to do an interview with you, and I'm gonna bring a snowboard, and we're What's gonna have so a different? contest. Who's the best snowboarder? Because so that's different? exactly as logical as you deciding that I should be a boxer now. Bro, you just dropped a diss on to people, and you was trash as hell. What? At the end of the day, you that might have been the first person I heard that say that. Shit. This is what I'm. <laughs> he dissed his raps. He said he was trash, and Adam's offended. <laughs> Telly. I heard a lot of people say they think I'm nicer on the mic than you are. I'm going to keep it real, bro. That shit was... Did he try to diss him? Sub him right now? His ass. What? Was ass. That was my first song. But I think I snapped. All right. Make it your last, man. No. We got that more. We got I another heard. one that will probably be out by the time this comes out. All right. That's cool. Keep doing what you're doing. I hope you make it in your rap career. But look, 
Stop playing with people if you're not ready for the outcome that come with the shit. Man. Why do you think I'm not ready? Because you're not. You just sat here and said you wouldn't even fight. So yeah. you're not ready. That's what I'm telling you. Being you're ready not. is not the same as having to take part in goofy ass crowd shenanigans. Oh, real shit. Air nigga tell you in Cali what they say. We run a phase around. They run phase around this bitch. You hanging out with the wrong guys in Cali. Exactly. But they don't run phase in Cali. Not a lot. Not what a lot. What? You hanging around the wrong guys in Cali? Not a lot. They not catching phase now. Is Adam down playing the West Coast now? L.A. What's going on? We fight. Where we from, nigga? Chicago. At the end of the day, if a motherfucker, got, Chicago this fight, is like very you, different than everything I've been led to believe about Chicago. You really? No, Chicago. Boy, Adam is Chicago. He called. No fight. We oh, who? Ass. When's the last time we heard about a, a famous Chicago brawl? Now you know what it is. Everybody don't be in that. But Chicago shit. fight. I'm gonna tell you some real shit. That's really light. What I'm actually telling you. Fight. Niggas really kill motherfuckers in Chicago. You should kill That's me. That's what they do. I love that. But what I'm did. telling you is somebody should shoot me. For but what sure. I'm telling you is, Adam. Yeah. You're gonna get up one day if you keep. Tweaking with people, I'm telling you, bro. I'm gonna be real. It's not gonna be a good outcome. The for you. threats, the like vague, like, oh, something's gonna ain't happen. Nobody to you. threatening you. The 22 star ain't pressed. I'm telling Trust you. Trust me. <laughs> I ain't threatening you. I'm good. I'm telling you. If if it sounds like asks a threat. You, sounds like you're trying to threaten me. At the end of the day, I'm telling I'm not you as real. It. I'm telling you as a man, nigga. Right. You gonna get fed up out here playing. Okay. Remo, no, he, he over there looking like. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. Look at him. Like, yeah, yeah, you know. I'm with you. Yeah, this is crazy. Hey, man. You give me your attitude to him. It's whatever listen, I get though. myself into. But listen, you not because you said you wouldn't even fight a person. You that's talk, goofy as you fuck. You talking about some clout. Oh, listen, I'm going to give you boxing gloves. Some real like, shit. That's some goofy ass clout shit. And you this. know it. You know I'm it. really saving your face. You know it. Saving your face. But number listen, one, I never listen, signed up to be a fighter. At the end of the day, so if somebody starts you ain't telling me like, to be oh, a rapper you, you're not a great, you yes, I did. No, song. I literally did. And I made a song. Trash. That was me signing up. Was when I made and that the song. That shit was trash. You ain't signed up to be no f rapper. So you're telling me that I'm but not a good it. rapper. Do you so think that that impacts my shit. like ego? Do you think I'm worried about not being a good rapper? Yes, you are because you just sat here and said you wouldn't fight if it came down to it. You My whole soft. thing is that I'm not willing to you take soft. people and let them convince me that I need to fight to can, defend you my can man. Get on a platform and let them convince you. You can try to convince people that you're tough and you this and that. When have I but ever I'm acted like you, I was tough? On some real shit. Just speaking on street shit to get you up. I'm telling okay. you that. I'm just going to let you know I'm good I, with the vague threats. You ain't. Yes. You ain't. Oh, he's making threats now. I'm good with the vague threats. You know when white people start saying that, man, you gotta cut the conversation short. You Unless you're be. gonna do something, you wouldn't. Be. I don't want to hear it. Do you want to fight? No. I can't shut the <laughs> up. Then why are you on the Stop podcast? Talking. Stop talking. You don't get to tell me to shut the listen, up on my just listen, podcast. If this I was a, if my I was the last podcast out, that you were very the last upset on this bitch, when I told you you weren't invited listen, on this podcast, Remo, you were very I'm upset. Remo now. Hey, listen, you're talking to me on my podcast. Hit him in his mouth. Say I hit him in his mouth. What are you gonna do? What do you think I'm gonna do? He go he gonna try to sue. He gonna be one of them soft ass, soft ass. How people. am I gonna sue you when I got way more soft. money than you? Cause you that's soft. That's not usually how it works. Cause you soft. <laughs> Boy, look at Adam. Look at Adam's face right now, y'all. Look, Ruby on him. You soft. So you telling me if I hit you in your mouth, you ain't gonna sue me? I don't need to sue you. You ain't answering my question. Am I going to sue you? Why would I sue somebody that I have way more money than? If I hit you in your mouth, then what? I feel like that would really betray the fact that you told Remo that you didn't have a problem with me and really just wanted At to talk the on the, the podcast. At the end of the day, it's the principle. I'm telling you something. You need to learn something. So some. you're scared of getting sued You need to learn something from another grown man. You want me to? He said, you need to learn something, Adam. <laughs> He's trying to get you to learn something today. You're going to learn today. Do it. Sure. If I hit you, hey, go crazy. Security go crazy. Hey, hold on. What, 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 what else is he here for? What else is he here for? Your security going to come in with his gun? Why else is he here? Hey, but look. See, look. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But hold on. So stop talking. If you were really on some tough shit, you wouldn't care about that, right? Listen, you. I don't put myself out here on some tough shit. I, was I never shit. came on here and told I you I am no the best fighter. When have I ever came on the podcast and said, oh, I'm the toughest? It's the shit you mentioned. Like what? I just told you. 
I just spoke on my homie. Your Ford, example you spoke on that is shit basically like telling that me was a game. that even Stop though Wooski dissed me At and talked shit to day, me first, that I shouldn't man, be able to talk that back that to him in you response. That shit. You throw the rock and you hide your hand. That's not true. That's what he the threw fuck the rock. you do. You throw the rock and hide your hand. He threw the rock. And just like I said, at the end of All the day, I did was respond. You ain't you're ready, trying to tell me that for some reason you're not I can't ready respond to somebody when he disses me. If you ain't ready for what come with it, leave that street shit alone. I'm ready. For real. I'm you good. Because you're not even. He said he ready. <laughs> ready to fight. That's that you even, coming that up with an that. arbitrary way for so all to prove our masculinity. And I'm letting you know that if you want to have a boxing match, I want to have a snowboarding bro, competition. Bro. It's exactly the same thing. Do it. Just say you scared. Do it. I'm not a fighter. So if he do this, just say you scared. There's a reason I move around the way that I do. So it's because I I'm don't want you. someone like you to if try to you think know, that you can bully me. If you said the reason why you move, why you move, because you don't want to to fuck you up, right? Well, of course. So why the fuck is you doing the shit you doing? Because the shit talking get to people on the up. internet that'll get you fucked up though. You contradicting yourself. All the threats in the world don't mean shit to me. You got to do it. You contradicting yourself. You got to do it. Bro, you not like on some real You shit. know where I'm at I just every day you, doing content. I just asked you, would you fight me in gloves? And, and you again, no. you coming up with an arbitrary way for us to prove our manhood doesn't interest me. Like, like for real. We like, can, what's up with these big words? These arbitrary way to prove our masculinity. And I'm not with that. I'm not that. Just, man, just say I, I'm turning it down, bro. Just say that. Like you don't want to scribble. Like, don't try to just use these big words to out talk me. That shit be crazy. You can talk like, on a podcast. No, you no, have to express yourself listen, with words. I ain't gonna embarrass you. I ain't even gonna embarrass myself on this podcast and bust off your ass. Cause I can't. That for sure would be everything. that would embarrass you. This is you. the whole like you would get my whole left hand around it. Do some shit to you, boy. I don't even know but why listen, you think you could come on listen, my podcast and talk shit to me like this yeah. when you're obviously that not going to do shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, listen, you're going to have to leave if day. you want to keep talking Look, tough because nobody is interested in hearing you talk leave. shit like that. He want to motherfucker to leave because he's scared. Let's bring it You want to take you serious. Let's bring it back in a little bit. Let me talk to you. You're going to have to be polite if you want to stay on this podcast. Listen. Can we talk about this podcast? Then why did you beg to come on here? To be honest, I really wanted to come in and beat your ass. Yeah, but you're not. You want to go box? Let's go get your face. Again, I don't want to box. I listen. Off my word. He said, you want to go box? Go catch my face. Let's go. This is crazy. He really on his top right now. And Adam just rebutting him, rebutting him. Adam ain't backing down, but he not making no point either. Like, I feel like Ruger got a more valid argument. Because listen, hold on, hold on. I can have you hold removed up. right you now. Do you, you want to go? Fade? I know. You want to go wait outside? Hey, listen, but my son, listen me to me. Me and you shot it up, bro. Like, off the shirt, though. I'm going to leave out this bitch like a man. That's, That's cool. what I'm going to do. Right. Or you can that sit here and talk like a man. You got the police in here. How is it a police? That ain't going to move me. It's cool. But I just don't know why day, you're so convinced that this is a good place for you to talk your like you're, you're tough. Talking. Right. I'm not talking I'm not like a boxer. Talk. I've exactly. made that extremely so stop clear. stop talking. Stop talking. I'm a podcaster. Why the f*** would I stop talking? Stop talk <laughs> <laughs> oh, he told him stop talking. Hey, Adam is irritated at this point, man. Okay, that's your problem. Why would I stop talking when I'm a podcaster? What you gonna do is hit the table. Oh, uh, you hot? Yeah, I mean, he said he gonna hit the table. That's it. You would hit the table. But All you you're doing me. is sitting here yapping. Right, so look, we we talked it up. We said that everything was cool. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Why, I how you I this seen the Yeah, you Listen. try to do the old switcheroo. Who want to act tough you as soon as I get on the, the podcast? Police. Oh, I can handle my own business as well. Don't Come worry. On. Yeah. I don't handle it by doing boxing matches with cavemen who want to act tough man. instead caveman. of doing a podcast. Now he racist. I'm not a boxer. Now his racistness coming oh, out. And now you're going to play the race card. talking hey, about man. cavemen. Cavemen is some racist. I ain't going to lie. That is like some you. I don't think you should be saying that, man, calling black people cavemen in no type of form or fashion. And you know it's going to come off racist. <laughs> You racist man. I'm describing your brain. You weird. Not your race. You weird. I'm gonna ask you to leave. <laughs> Adam ain't going for it. Then he know he got him. That's cool. I'll leave. 
But I'm telling you, you a bitch. I don't care. Yeah, yo, that's a handsome guy. <laughs> you handsome. And he said what? Some guy. Come on, sure. They keep on bleeping him out. Handsome guy. I'm gonna get up no, out of here. Don't no, touch no, me though. No, listen, yeah, you're gonna have yo, to go. A handsome guy. You're gonna have to go. I bet you, y'all. He he delete this out. I you're bet you he delete this out the interview. You're gonna have to go. Look, handsome guy. Capable of acting like a handsome guy. Bless up. You uh, can't act like handsome. <laughs> they kept on handsome guy. Handsome guy. They edited that out boy, all the way. Guy. Hey, Behave bro, like a grown. I don't know what do you I think it's called the P word, man. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna say it on my word, you know what I'm saying? On my stuff, you feel me? But yeah, he was on Adam Bumper. Uh, handsome shit. Behave like no, a grown-up, Ruka. Come on. Get the I'm out. Touch you? Get out of here. You scared. You're fired. Who's a handsome guy? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's a handsome guy. He said, get out of here. You're fired. Yeah, handsome guy. What's wrong with Adam? Uh, Come on, though. Handsome guy. He really mad, though. He hot. Uh, yeah. yo, get the you out. got a soft-ass security. We're not, so, we're okay. not. This security trying to get him up out of there. He like, get off me. Stop touching me. Son, that's crazy. Come he's on. soft as hell. Get out of here. Uh, I'm a, we hey, can run the fray. We can yeah, run the fray. Not on the fray. Come on, y'all. Hey, 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 All the security called the fade out. That's what happened. The security said we could run the fade. Oh. Oh. damn. What the hell? The security's like shit. We can run the face. Security for sure, real nigga. <laughs> Adam stay with a game member up there. You know what I'm saying? That is crazy, yo, man. So I wonder if we we'll end up getting down with the uh Security, y'all. That may be what Remo was talking about when he came to my room right here. But yeah, y'all know what it is, man. What? Who you think is wrong? You think Ruger's wrong? You think Adam Twenty Two is wrong? You think it's all petty, or is Ruger standing up for his people? You know what I'm saying? Being a representation of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? For the years that Adam has perpetuated this and keeps on perpetuating the violence and the beefs down in Chicago. What y'all think, man? Y'all hop in the comments below. Let me know. Appreciate everybody. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Become a member. You already know. Follow Smut Free TV on Instagram. Hop in the comments because every comment count. It's your host with the most from the West Coast, Rockstar 2800. And I got the hottest content in these internet streets. No cap.